or when I wrote this, this was almost 10 years ago, I was living in West Africa, actually, as a missionary. And, uh, and I just wanted to share this tonight because I know there's a lot of people here in ministry, even some has came back from a mission trip or, you know, just serving God. And really, when you start to pursue God and want to be a light for Him, sometimes things get kind of discouraging, right? Like, He, ne he never promised that you're not going to face trials. He just promised that you're gonna, He's going to be there with you. Um, and so that's just kind of the place that I was in at that time. It was I'd been there about three years already when I wrote this, and just we just kept hitting like brick wall after brick wall, and um, just the ministry didn't seem to move forward. There was just a lot of discouragement and a lot of darkness, kind of. I just felt like you know burnt out. My light was burning out, and uh, but again, even though when you couldn't see the outcome, even in the midst of that trial and of that darkness, like. It was, you know, I just want to encourage you that we can still, you know, hold on to the promise of God that He is with us. So this is called, I Know the Morning Will Come. I know the morning will come, though I cannot see it yet. Though darkness surrounds me, though my eyes are wet, with tears I've cried for far too long. Though my voice is quiet, without words or song of praise or celebration, in this time of incarceration, not with metal bars or chains, but with scars and pain, caused by the overpowering presence of darkness, an overwhelming sense of hopelessness and feelings of despair, no air, suffocating in this gloom I find myself in as if trapped in a room with no light shining in, no air to breathe, no way to leave. And though my eyes fail to see any hope of escape or any sign of the day breaking through this dark night, I must hope by faith and not by sight that I will not stay in this prison forever. In my heart, I must believe that in time, darkness will leave and it will soon be over. I must believe, in spite of all my questions and doubt, I must believe there is a way out. I must believe that bigger than all my worries and fears is a God who knows and hears my cries and my pleas, a God who cares and shares my sadness and pain and will bring me back out to light again. I must believe, no, I will believe, that beyond these dark walls is the breaking of the dawn and with it the coming of the morning sun. Thank you.